Avery is sitting in that chair, and I'm hoping that she's going to fall asleep. She's not asleep yet. Anyway, so that's why it's dark in here. She falls asleep when I get to bring her inside. I'll turn the light off. If I bring her in there now, she's going to scream. She's getting ready to fall asleep. So. Anyway, let's get started. First person here is Kimon for this weekend. Good weekend. So you could hear from somebody you've been hoping to hear from or get news that you've been waiting on. Something should happen that makes you happy. No longer feeling stuck or stagnant. A Sagittarius could be coming in and you could have a love offer coming in. It also looks like you have a wish that comes true. You're no longer holding yourself back. Take time if you can for rest, relaxation, and self care, but be prepared for life to move forward. KB General. Get some money coming in. So you have a wish that comes true around finances improving. Money comes in, you're no longer holding yourself back. Life moves forward towards greener pastures. If you've had an argument or a disagreement with someone, it will resolve itself and move into the past. You'll hear from someone that you've been hoping to hear from or get news that you've been waiting on. Fire sign enters Leo Sagittarius Aries. Miss Billy General. Success comes in around work, school, or business. Finances should be improving. An old wound or hurt is healing and moving into the past, and life changes for you for the better quickly. It looks like if you've had an argument or disagreement with someone, it will resolve itself and move into the past. The hard work that you put into work, school, or business comes back and pays off, although it may be slow and steady wins the race. Finances are improving, and something nice could happen around the home, moving homes, changing homes, upgrading your home. Our general love. Love life moves forward when you explore your options. Things could change for the better for you quickly, and you could have success come in. You have a Leo here. You have um, a soulmate connection that could be moving forward with a Sagittarius. You've got things moving forward quickly. A water sign comes in, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. Making decisions that push your life forward. You'll walk away from people, places, and things that no longer serve you. If you're looking for a committed relationship, you can find yourself in one before the end of this year if you're not already. Learn something with K. Why was Ed's ex driving around his house last night when he wasn't there? I knew she was crazy. Well, it looks like she may be looking to reconnect with him. Um, they actually, they could make a decision to reconnect with the Two of Cups. Um, it looks like they've been talking or they've been spending time together. She just may be looking to put in more effort or she may be kind of chasing him around, but it looks like they're both like, um, they've been seeing each other or speaking. So it's not just her. It looks like it's both of them. Vicki, you're going well. Um, I'm trying to get her to fall asleep. That's why we're in the dark. Avery, why don't you lay down on that chair? No. <laughs> um, but it's going well. Yeah, it's we went to the park today. Like she was at the park for like two hours. <laughs> so she should really be going to sleep now. Yeah, I got her up pretty early. 
um, Empress. See, yeah, let me do RR. Will D contact me tonight? There's indecision around the situation and the chance is slim, but communication could come in pretty soon. Tanya. message notifications in my DM from L, but when I check, there's no message. Is it a glitch or is he in the DM reading old messages? Okay. Is it a glitch? Is he in the DM reading old messages? I don't think it's a glitch. I think he's reading old messages or he's doing something in there. That's why you're getting notified. Uh, Empress, let me see it again. Where is What kind of surprise could happen due to this investigation that was on me in the next few months? What kind of surprises could happen due to this investigation that was on me in the next few months. Okay, I don't see them coming up with anything substantial, so they may feel as if they put in a whole lot of hard work, didn't see much of a payoff. They're at a standstill, this, whatever it is that they've been, they've like their case is weakening and they're unsuccessful. I wouldn't really worry much about this case because I don't think they have anything. And I don't think they're gonna find anything. now Lydia sassy time <laughs> all right let's see what's going on <laughs> uh, perseverance makes a wish come true around could be opportunity with a water sign Pisces Scorpio cancer happiness comes out over your life when you listen to your intuition you also have an earth sign here, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Be prepared for a soulmate connection to move forward this fall. Something's going to happen. Water sign or earth sign pretty soon. What are you doing? Peach. We don't have any more peaches. I have chips or I have raspberries? Pop. What? Pop. We don't have any pops. Chips? Raspberries? Yeah. Well, that's all I have. Chips. You want chips? No. no. Oh. Chips. You want chips, really? What we have. It's time to go to bed now. All right, I'm gonna hook you up and put you in the bed. No. Well, then sit down and eat those chips. 
Time to go to sleep. Um, Rimmo love reading. Got a soulmate connection here. Somebody can make you an offer that would be hard to turn down and you're not no longer holding yourself back. If you're not in a committed relationship right now, you have one coming in and you have happiness coming in, it's a little bit delayed. Um, a wish comes true through divine timing. An Aquarius, a Cancer, a Libra, and a Sagittarius are all here. Libra and Sagittarius come up strongest around committed relationship. Lita. Oh, you can't see my face. Oh, God. <laughs> um, is that any better? No, it's really not better. It looks better on here than it does on there. I don't want to put the light on because I want her to go to sleep. Love always general. Love always general. Got some money coming in. You're headed towards the Ten Cups being full. That's pretty damn good. Um, you have a soulmate connection that moves forward this fall could be with an earth sign taurus capricorn virgo feeling as if you've made it to the top of the mountain you can breathe a sigh of relief divine guidance is guiding you could reconnect with an old friend or someone that you haven't seen in a while with the six of cups money is coming in choices and options are coming in especially around social activities growth change and transformation comes in and around your life a love offer comes in this fall that may be pushing your love life forward as well Crystal, Cancer, or Virgo in love. Liz, general for tomorrow. Being guided by the divine to put you at the right place at the right time where you run into someone you haven't seen or spoken to in a while or you reconnect with an old friend. It could be focused on a side business or side hustle. The hard work that you put into it comes back to you. Success comes in around work, school, or business. A wish comes true. Feeling a little bit more financially stable, your perseverance pays off around work, school, or business. Freak X, general love.
you have a wish that comes true around love, but you'll have choices around romance moving forward. If you're not with anyone right now, things can all of a sudden move forward pretty quickly. Got a Scorpio here. Romance is heating up. Growth, change, and transformation comes in and around your love life. Perseverance pays off. If for whatever reason you don't like that Scorpio, you have a fire sign that comes in. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. That brings with them cause for celebration. If you're already with someone right now, your current relationship is growing, changing, transforming for the better, and um, moving forward, you'll have choices and options. If you're not with anyone, you've got the magician, the ability to manifest new opportunities. Don't touch. Don't touch. Okay, go lay down there with Minnie Mouse. Yeah. No. Don't tell me no. Oh, you want chips? Go sit down in that chair with the chips. Avery, I'm not playing around with you. Take the afternoon with Joe Saturday. How will it go? Should go well. Perseverance pays off, cause for celebration comes in. It's a pleasant day. There's happiness around. It looks like things are functioning very well. Looks pretty good. You may, you may be doing something like rest, relaxation, self-care, hanging out, chilling out, whatever it is, it's pleasant. Looks good. Looks good. Liz, love for this weekend. Lay down the law, set up boundaries if you think that somebody is overstepping or if you're having a hard time, you know, if somebody's being a pain in the ass, don't be afraid to lay down the law, set up boundaries. You've got the world at your feet. You've got good luck coming in. You have a Sagittarius, a, an Aquarius, and a Capricorn all coming in. That's pretty good. A new venture on the horizon. With the Empress, you've got love and money coming in. A well-balanced, well-functioning relationship or well-balanced, well-functioning relationships around this weekend and a wish comes true. It looks pretty good. Looks like a pretty decent um, weekend as far as love is concerned. Avery, what are you doing? Go sit down over there at the book, okay? Okay, please. Please, please. Please, please. I want you to rest. Time to go to sleep. No. Yeah, I applied to three jobs today. Will I hear from any of these three jobs? I think you definitely will, yes. What are you doing with this? I think you will, yeah. There's a new journey around too. Get a new journey on the horizon. The hard work you put, put in comes back to you. What are we doing here with all this stuff? And the second question, how will my business do in the fall with the new stuff I'm going to have? How will my business do in the fall with the new stuff that I have? You should do really well. So happiness comes out over the situation. Somebody can make an offer that would be hard to turn down. Disappointments or bullshit is moving into the past and you're prepared for things to move forward and things are moving forward. It looks like you're no longer holding yourself back. Sales are up, money comes in, looks good. Whatever it is that you're doing, there could be success that comes in fast or offers that come in fast. Looks pretty good. I would, um, 
I would be part like a. Uh, I would get whatever it is done and get it out as fast as you can because it looks like the money's going to come in pretty quickly. Simon, why is Scorpio so dry in messages? Barely any effort. Uh, they seem to feel a little bit like things are kind of out of balance or they're not really sure exactly what they want. And they, I don't know if they need a little bit of time or they need a little bit of space. I would give them a little bit of space. I wouldn't... Um, I pull your energy back, especially if you feel like they're being a little distant. I pull your energy back a little bit, let them come to you more. Even if they reach out to you, like if they're short with you, and if they reach out to you first, but they're short with you, I would be short with them back. And we don't put more effort in until you're seeing more effort from them. Thank you, journal for next week. Life could change for the better quickly. Letting go of people, places, and things that no longer serve you brings in some good karma. But also have a Libra around next week. Success comes in around work, school, or business. Something should happen next week that makes you very happy with the sun. It looks like life moves forward. Take time for rest, relaxation, and self-care. And if you've had an argument or a disagreement with somebody, it will resolve itself and move into the past. T that why did you delete the post? Felt a little insecure or unsure about it. May have felt like it was unsuccessful. I don't know what the post was about, but whatever, um, some kind of an insecurity around it made them feel it was unsuccessful. Yeah, or yeah, they, they just weren't comfortable with it. I don't know what the post was. Liz, what will happen next with me in Aries? What will happen next with me in Aries? Communication comes in. You could be spending time together, but it might not be right away. Judgments in reverse, which means the timing around the situation could be a little bit poor. But when things change, they change for the better quickly. Communication is here, though. Communication should be important. Um, sunshine. Details on how else on Valentine's Day and energy. I don't know how you're going to spend Valentine's Day. I mean, that's like six months away. I could give you the energy around the situation, but I can't give you details. Like, you have to plan that. The cards can't plan it. You have to do that. What do you want me to do with this? The energy is not bad around Valentine's Day. It's like moving forward with the magician here, the ability to manifest new opportunities. There could be new people around. I don't know if you got a Scorpio around you right now, but there could be a committed relationship around a Scorpio. There could be growth, change, and transformation that comes in and around your life over like January and February of next year. Decisions made that push your life forward, but the exact, um, exactly what you're gonna do on Valentine's Day, I don't know, you have to make that decision. Um, T, Yvette, what is G's relationship with, what is G's relationship with J? There's lots of anxiety around this connection. Looks like they're friends. It looks like they're friends. Things are a little bit stuck and stagnant, and there's some um, stress. And there could be sharp energy or resentment around the situation. I don't see love here, but I'm wondering if at one point one person wanted more than the other person did. They decided to be friends, and there may be a little bit of resentment around the person that wanted more. But I don't think that there's anything more than friendship here. Question, any other surprises in the next few months? Could have a new venture on the horizon. You can feel relieved when it comes to money or a money endeavor moves forward quicker than you think. You have an Aries that comes in that could be of significance. You may have uh, better functioning relationships or, and also feeling better compensated or better respected around work, school, or business. You could have a Virgo that enters. If you're feeling undecided about something or someone, don't make any decisions until you're ready. Hi, 
Tanya, is Al typing a message in the DM and decided not to hit send? It's been driving me nuts. Yeah. Yeah, they're doing something. They're either typing a message, sending it and deleting it, writing it and not, like it may be there, but it's not sent. They're doing something. Yeah, something's happening, and that's why you're getting those notifications. It's not a, it's not a glitch. Something is happening in that um, field. Sunshine, will I spend Valentine's Day with Cancer or Sagittarius? Will I spend Valentine's Day with Cancer? Will I spend it with Sagittarius? Um, I don't see it coming up strong that you spend it with either of them. If I had to choose one over the other, I would say Sagittarius. Uh, beautiful one. When will I see Dom again? Got good luck around this situation. Um, could be pretty soon, like maybe within the week or so. I don't know how often you see this person. But I, it's coming in fast with the swords. Maybe within the week or so, maybe 10 days, week or 10 days. Pretty quickly it could happen. Uh, Luna, what Jay from work feels about me? What does Jay from work feel about me? Thinks that you're perseverant, smart, intelligent, attractive, grounded and stable, reliable, kind-hearted, caring, and very passionate. Sunshine is such a starting to have love feelings for me. I don't see this person as being in love. It looks like they could have some romantic feelings for you, but I wouldn't say they were in love at this point. What's the matter? Do you ever get tired? Oh, thank you, Lita. Um, Aurelia, what Corey and Julie have against me? I feel a lot of bad talking behind my back in the office between them and with others. They think they know it all. That's exactly it. That's exactly it. They think they know it all. You know, I don't think they have anything against you. I think that they could be a little bit intimidated by you. And I hate saying that to people, but there is like a little jealousy here. And like jealousy, any of those low vibrational emotions are always gonna bring the person down that's feeling them. So if they're not gonna hurt you, it's gonna hurt them. They come off as catty people. They're talking shit. If they are talking shit and with the devil, they probably are, but they don't accomplish anything. Nothing comes of it. I would try not to let it bother you because they don't know it all. They're, they've are got a little jealousy and intimidation. I, you know, it, it's such a shame because, especially when you're at work, because you're all working for the same company towards the same goal. So why are we competing with each other? I just, I can't wrap my brain around that. It's like helping somebody out. You can help somebody out and it doesn't hurt you. And you could... Like it costs nothing. Like it costs nothing for all three of you to be on the same team. So why are they doing that? Like it's just so petty and so unnecessary. But it's not going to hurt you. It's only going to hurt them. It's stupid. It's really stupid. But that's where they're at. So they're just going to keep cultivating that same nonsense for themselves. Tanya, general, sure. You got some money coming in. You could be feeling a little bit more financially stable, and that may make you feel like relieved around finances. Plenty of money's headed your way. 
you have a um, fire sign here, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. You also have an air sign, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, that may be of significance. Listen to your intuition. Your intuition is heightened. Um, anxiety, worry, nonsense, negativity is all moving into the past. You're headed towards the Ten Cups people, and you have a large amount of money headed in your direction, so that's pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. If you can, take time for rest, relaxation, and self-care. You could be thinking about going back to school or learning a new area of study. She needs a pacifier? That baby needs a pacifier? What happened? What happened? Oh, the baby's not crying. Yeah, pacifier. I learned something with Kay. Has Ed been spending the night at the ex's house the past few days? Has Ed been spending the night at the ex's house the past few days? Yeah, they could have been. They're, they could have been. Um, I would say that there's something still going on with that ex. What do you say, Avery? You're at Pop Pop's house. Yes, you are. Yeah. Yeah, there could be something still lingering between him and that ex. Him or her, whoever it is in that ex. Uh, Julie, how does my day go tomorrow? How does my day go tomorrow? Day tomorrow goes well. Feeling grounded and stable, somebody can make you an offer that would be hard to turn down. Stepping into your confidence and your... Um, Independence pushes your life forward. The weight of the world slips off your shoulders. Things move forward quickly. A wish comes true. Pretty good. Pretty good. Grandma sees thoughts about me. thinks that you are creative, unique, ambitious, attractive, compassionate, sincere, like well-balanced, exciting, spontaneous, you have a good personality. Um, they see, it seems to be pretty positive the way they feel about you right now. Our art, did I hurt or upset D? Did I hurt or upset D? I don't think so. No, I, I think they're okay. Yeah, I think they're okay. I don't think they're hurt or upset about anything. Um, oh, that means weekend love reading. Weekend love reading. Growth, change, and transformation comes in and around your love life. You've got perseverance could take you to a committed relationship if you're not in one right now. You have a water sign here, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, and you have an earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. This weekend, you may be spending time with an earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, comes in a little bit stronger. You could be feeling like you've made it to the top of the mountain. You can breathe a sigh of relief. Perseverance around love pays off this weekend. Lesta, tease feelings towards me. Tease feelings towards me. Pretty good. Things that you have a good personality, fun, exciting, charismatic, creative, unique, attractive, ambitious, reliable, smart, intelligent, well-balanced. Pretty good. 
Essence, why is Twitter taking my likes away? My followers away and shadow banned me. It's breaking my heart. I'm so close to deactivating my page. I don't know what to do. Seems like this is something that Twitter does. And it seems like, um, you know what I would do? I would just keep doing what you're doing and ignore it. There's nothing that you can do to change it. As long as you're using their platform, you're going to have to, like, that's just going to be part of it. It's like the same thing with any other social media. They're in control of it. They can do what they want. It's not fair. It's not right. But there's nothing that you can do about it. I would just keep doing what you're doing. And what you could do is, um, I don't know if you already have a... Um, website but I have a website where people can follow you there just in case things get taken off of Twitter social media it's run by Satan that's all I can say <laughs> it's not fair but that's just the way it is they can do what they want it's not right hey Avery take a take a big deep breath What will happen with E next week? Okay, I don't know what this situation is, but it looks like whatever the situation is, things come back into balance. Things move forward slow and steady, wins the race. The weight of the world slips off of their shoulders, and their life moves forward towards grander pastures pretty quickly. Um, they could have money coming in. If they're waiting on money, they may have money coming in. They could be spending time with an air sign, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Um, Julie, do I get to see you make arrangements with Liz tomorrow? If not tomorrow, soon. It should be very soon. Um, love always. What does DT want with me? They're undecided. They have no idea what they want. But communication does pick up, and they're feeling ambitious, and they may be putting in a little bit more time and effort. So um, let's see what happens. They haven't made any decisions yet. Red, what does BS want me to know about everything in life right now? What does BS want me to know about everything in life right now? Life is moving forward towards greener pastures. Negativity is moving into the past. You'll walk away from people, places, and things that no longer serve you, and that's going to make your life change for the better quickly. Focus on a side business or side project will lead to choices and options that bring in more money. You're no longer holding yourself back. You'll get news that you've been waiting on or hear from somebody you've been hoping to hear from. That's probably going to push your life forward. What happened? What happened to the baby? She's what? 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 All about me. Weekend love read. Weekend love read. Maybe feeling ambitious about love? Could be spending time with an earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. You're actually headed towards the Ten Cups being full. And balance is coming back into your life. The hard work that you put into love pays off this weekend. An old wound hurts and hurts, heals and moves into the past. 
and you could find growth change and transformation comes in and around the connection with an, um, an earth sign Taurus Capricorn Virgo. Uh, TT, why do I feel like I did or said something wrong? What can I do better? I don't think that you did or said anything wrong. I would say, I don't think you're gonna be feeling that like this much longer, the energy around you shifts. It looks like, as far as like what you could do better, I would just keep doing what you're doing. It doesn't look like you've done anything wrong. It looks like there is positivity that comes in around good communication. So I don't know what it is that you're talking about. But whoever these people are that you think you did something wrong to, just keep the lines of communication open and things look like they improve pretty quickly. You have financial stability coming in, choices and options come in, and communication picks up. What do you got? No, 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 don't do that to Pop Pops. That's Pop Pops. He needs that. All right, don't touch it, okay? All right, all right. You it's okay, but you have to go lay down, okay? Because it's time for you to go to sleep. Did yeah. you go to sleep? Yeah. Go lay down on that chair right there. Um, yeah, scoring this chair. What is this? This. This Minnie Mouse chair. Oh, sit in the Minnie Mouse chair. Go ahead. Sit on Scorpio's coming so it's about me and not, and seeing me, not. Wait a minute, Scorpio's coming thoughts about me and not seeing me. Scorpio's thoughts about me and not seeing me. See. They seem to think that you're a nice person, you're kind and caring, you're sincere, smart and intelligent, as far as not seeing you, they may just think that it's poor timing or it's bad timing or that divine timing, you guys will then see each other. They're not making a big deal about not seeing you. I don't know what, maybe it hasn't been that long. Um, v, what will the backlash be if I don't participate tonight? There could be an argument. You may have an argument with somebody and you might feel like stuck between a rock and a hard place and there could be there could be a couple of arguments i don't know what the situation is but if you want to avoid an argument i would participate tonight if you don't care then i would just do what you want but somebody is going to be upset there'll be an argument tanya ellis the aries Will he finally hit send? I don't think he realizes that I keep getting these notifications. Okay, will he hit send? He will. He will. Um, what a jerk. <laughs> what a jerk. Yeah, he doesn't realize that, that you can see it. But he will hit send. There will be communication that comes in at some point. I just don't think he's comfortable yet or he's not ready. You'll hear from him. Mommy. Yes. Mommy. What? Why is this? What? What? A hug? A hug. on Friday and next weekend general. Friday and this weekend general. Friday and this weekend general. You can get news that you've been waiting on or you can hear from somebody you've been hoping to hear from. If you're feeling undecided about something or someone, don't make any decisions until you're ready. Being focused on a side project or a side hustle or whatever it is could bring in extra money at some point. And life changes for you for the better quickly this weekend. You could hear from somebody you've been hoping to hear from you, news that you've been waiting on. Life moves forward. Take time if you can for rest, relaxation, and self care. Not a bad weekend. Not a bad weekend. Avery, can you just go lay down, please? 
please. It didn't die. Go oh. over there on that chair and lay down. No. Here. You want to sit in this Minnie Mouse chair? Sit here in the Minnie Mouse chair and put this here. Hey, Leo. Leo. Okay. Leo. Sit right there. Sit here. Put your hiney in that chair. Right here. You. There you go. Oh wow, look at those horse. The horse. Here. Here. Oh, Avery, you're driving me nuts. Okay? In two seconds I'm gonna put you in the crib. What is this? No. No, no. What I can't hold this. All right, you have to put it down here. I can't hold it. I don't have 16 arms. Sit down. See this? What is the problem? What is that you're watching? Oh, it's a little horse. Is that a pony? Stop, my It's a pony. I think it's a little pony. It's a little horsey, yes. Don't pull on me. That's us. Avery, please. What? Yeah, I see the horsies. Put them on that thing. Put it on that stand. Essence, did anyone see my question? I can't see my message anymore. Uh, was it the one about Twitter? I did that one a few minutes ago. Red, how will work be with PV? We'll get off. How will working with PV go? We'll get off. Okay. Working with PV, it should go well. Things get unstuck and move forward towards greener pastures. It could lead you to more choices that bring in the ten cups being full. Uh, Well-functioning business relationship that brings in decent money. And no longer feeling stuck or stagnant. I think that whatever it is should be successful. Should be successful. Um, new knit. The guy Jared is a liar. Yes, most people are liars. I would say so, yeah. Julie, I still have, I still, well, I still have a different preceptor that's not a girl in. Yes, I think so. T that when will the Aquarius reach out to me? should be soon you got swords here I'm gonna say sometime this month if this is somebody you haven't heard from in a while you should hear from them this month if this is someone you speak to frequently you'll probably hear from them within the week swords bring in communication quick um, Liz Gemini's next actions towards me they're a little slow and stagnant right now but the next action will be communication comes in. Maybe not right away, but there is communication coming in. Essence, did my message come through? If it's the one about the Twitter um, shadow banning you, I did it. If it was a different one, I didn't do it. I didn't see it. Um, Sarah, love for the weekend. could have choices and options that come in this weekend. You could have an air sign around, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. If you're feeling undecided about something or someone, don't make any decisions until you're ready. A water sign enters Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. Exploring your options leads to happiness with the magician, the ability to manifest new opportunities. 
I would say it should be a pretty decent weekend for love. Margo, did Anna badmouth me to see? What did she say? I don't see her bad mouthing you. No, I, I don't think that she said anything terrible. Looks like there's positive energy around the situation. Essence, what's going on with my Twitter page? I, oh, I did that one. Um, I, what I said was, it, it, social media can do whatever they want. There is no control, there's nothing you can do about it. The only thing you can do is stick with it and create a website or something that you're in control of. You can't, you can't, there's nothing that you can do about what Twitter does because that's the way social media is. There's nobody to call, there's nothing, like it's bullshit. It's, but there's nothing that you can do about it because they control it. So whatever it is that they're doing or why they're doing it, they could be removing fake accounts, they could be removing fake things that they think are fake or that are in um, like there are multiple accounts or whatever it is that they do, but you can't do anything about that. Like you're at their mercy because you're using their platform. So you either have to not use Twitter and have your own website, which is fine, but the downfall is is that these big platforms get people seen. Your own website is going to be hard to find if somebody doesn't already know about you. So I don't think, it's unfortunate, but I don't think there's anything that you can do about it. It's the same thing with YouTube. Like they take people down, they, they give people nonsense because they don't like what they say. There's nothing that you can do about it. it it's just, it just, it is the way it is. It's unfortunate, but... There's nothing you can do about it, and there's nobody that you can call, or, you know? Like, look at all these, like, super chats. I don't really know. Well, we don't really know. Like, I, they give you a figure at the end of the month, but you don't know if that's right. You don't know how much they've taken. You don't know who's donated what. I don't think that that's right. People, I think we should know, but there's no way to find that out, and there's no one to call. But it's their platform. They can do what they want. Uh, T that one will be, oh, I did that one. Um, Tarot, when will the Pisces contact me? When will the Pisces contact me? It's coming in quick, you got the swords here. I'm gonna say sometime this month. You'll probably hear from them sometime this month. Quick. Quick communication comes in. Aurelia, is Steve, our engineer, influenced by Corey and Julie's dad talking in the way that he thinks of me? I have such a crush on him when we get along. Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think he's influenced. I think that he sees them for exactly what they are. So I wouldn't really worry about, yeah, I don't think he's influenced by them. I think he knows who they are, what they're all about, and I don't think he lets it bother them. Goes in one ear and out the other. Empress, does Jasmine plan on letting my brother know when she gets back in town so that they can get to get dinner like they talked about. Yeah, I think that he, she, he will hear from her. Sunshine characteristics and details on who I will spend Valentine's Day with. I can't give you details because I don't know what you're going to do. Valentine's Day is not for another six months. There's going to be a lot of things that can change over the next six months. Especially if you don't have anything planned as of right now. 
the person that you spend Valentine's Day with should be somebody that has a creative side. They're ambitious. They're very well balanced. They're a kind, caring person, but they have a sharp edge and they could be um, like a, maybe a little bit stubborn. They could have a creative side, a creative hobby, or something that they're trying to turn into a business that's creative in nature. They may love traveling to water, by water, or around water, and they should have money around them, or they should be somewhat financially stable. essence I don't think that you're really being dramatic over it I think that especially if it's a business thing you know it's like you put in all this effort into something and then something that's beyond your control is destroying it it's not destroying it but it seems like it it's frustrating I don't blame you for feeling like that but it's just it just it's not it's not fair like that's the whole thing it's like you put in all this effort and you feel like it's not fair because whatever is taking away the life it happened to me once, um, way back when. It was like the end of the year, and it's like YouTube went through whatever they went through and knocked off like so many subscribers, and I sent emails, and they find, they responded with that they were fake accounts. I don't know how they could be fake accounts, because, I mean, I guess people could make up fake accounts, but whatever the situation was, so I lost um, a bunch of people, and I was it's like, it was a lot of people. Like, it's normal to lose some here and there, but it was a bunch, and it was at the end of the year. I guess that that's what they do at the end of every year or whenever they feel like it, but anyway, it's frustrating. I know, I know, it's very frustrating. But you can't do anything about it because you're not running it, they are. If you have your own platform, it's a little bit different, but... You know, like a, um, if you have your own website or something like that. I don't know if you do, but if you, that's why a lot of times, like I'll see YouTube people will have different platforms because they're like, if I get thrown off of here for whatever the reason, then you can find me somewhere else. And I think that's smart because sometimes people do or say something stupid that they don't mean to and it could really, you know, whatever, screw you up. Crystal, is my cat okay? She's been missing for three days. Disappointment moves into the past. Communication picks up. Slow and steady wins the race, but you move forward towards greater pastures with growth, change, and transformation. Um, learn something with K. Does N actually want to get back with his ex? Is that really what his heart desires? undecided as of right now he doesn't know exactly what he wants but he kind of feels as if he might have to explore the opportunity and that happens sometimes sometimes you have to go back to the ex to figure out that you don't want to be with them or that you've already lived this relationship and you don't want to go through it again but it looks like he's unsure and that that he may be exploring the opportunity Sarah if I reach out to Nick what to expect tonight? What's out of... What's the out of hold back? If I reach out to Nick tonight, what can I expect? 
I wouldn't expect all that much because it looks like he's kind of, um, he's holding himself back. Communication is a little bit down and you might be feeling burdened and stressed around the situation. I wouldn't expect too much from him tonight. It looks like slow. Yeah. Question. My friend Dave is in the emergency room. He went out and used meth and woke up when he was going, woke up to what was going on in a relationship. Can you see if it's serious? So he used some kind of a drug and he woke up in the emergency room. Is it serious? All right, is it serious? I think he's gonna be okay, and I think that you're gonna hear from somebody soon. Somebody may let you know that he's gonna be okay. I think he's gonna be okay. I mean, is it serious? Yeah, I think it is serious, but I think he's gonna be all right. HK, does Ricky have romantic feelings for me? Mm, I don't think so. I mean, there could be like maybe sexual feelings, but romance, I don't see that here. Not right now. Bella, will I get out of this money slump? Hmm. Yeah, you will. Things should change quickly. T that we won't hear from the Aquarius. I said soon, probably this month. If you speak to this person frequently, you'll probably hear from them this week. HK, will me and Ricky be physically intimate? You have potential. You do have potential here. Less stuff for next month. Feeling grounded and stable, things move forward. No longer feeling stuck or stagnant. Somebody can make you an offer that would be hard to turn down. Money comes in, negativity moves into the past, romance heats up. If you're with someone, great. If you're not with anyone, an earth sign comes in, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, and you're no longer holding yourself back. Pretty good. Pretty good. An old wound could heal, too, and move into the past. <laughs> Dana, what's the deal with the cancer? He keeps calling and texting, but I'm over it. That's exactly why. Your energy has shifted. You're over it. Your energy has shifted. He's feeling that. So now he's coming forward because he's looking to spend time together. I don't think that you're going to spend time with him. I think you are done with it, and he's going to be very disappointed. He snoozed, he lose. Snooze, you lose. That's it. Emin, do CS? Tell me they told H, or they trust H more now, and told her more about it than they told me, okay? Do they trust H more now, and told her more about it than they told me? I think they do trust H now, but I don't think they told her anything more than you know. It looks like they're, they've been very vague.
Evan, how does S feel after I spoke to him? How does S feel after I spoke to him? Okay, grounded, stable. Uh, they may think that there's more communication coming in between the two of you quickly. May feel successful and may feel um, like things went well. Like it was like a pleasant conversation. Jay, there was a girl at my job with pink hair. She walked past me staring at me tonight. What was she thinking? May find you to be attractive. Smart, intelligent, hardworking, unique, and creative. Eric, I applied to several jobs. Bob's, UAI, City Staffing, and the Chicago White House. What jobs will I get? Okay, let's see. You got success coming in around Bob's. Something nice could happen around Bob's pretty quickly. UAI doesn't come up as high as Bob's. City staffing. City staffing. It's going to be a place that's going to send you out on things. I bet you you're going to get that. Yeah, you're probably going to get something through city staffing. And then Chicago Lighthouse, let's see. convinced about Chicago Lighthouse. Yeah, I'm not convinced about Chicago Lighthouse. Not yet. But the city staffing one looks good. Emin, do you my person being a cheater or cheating on me later? I get in into a relationship. Okay, is my person a cheater? I don't see this person being a cheater, but I can't say that they have never cheated and I can't say that they won't ever cheat. Um, but I don't see them being like a serial cheater as of right now. But, you know, it's like, you, you can't say, well, they never lie to me. Well, they could lie to you. You know, like you just I can't work in, in like never because shit happens, you know. Uh, Kevin, all donations, one ninety nine. It doesn't matter what, uh, however you do it. I mean, sexual energy between me and my person. When do you see us having intimate relationship or interaction? Uh, perseverance. Um, it could actually happen pretty quickly. But perseverance pays off, and I would say probably sometime within the month. There is sexual energy here between the two of you. T. Vet, his thoughts lately about us. thoughts lately about us. May feel like there's potential for things to get unstuck and move forward. May feel like things are moving forward towards greener pastures, is no longer holding themselves back, is prepared for things to move forward. Pretty good. Maybe feeling like focused or like they're going to be putting in more effort. It looks pretty positive. 
Emin is S's health issue related to infertility. I don't think so. Nuna, did I scare my neighbor Derek off? Did I scare my neighbor Derek off? No, I don't think you did. Nope. What's my energy like at work? What's my energy like at work? Pretty good. Positive, focused, growing, changing, transforming, ambitious, kind, caring, and sincere. Um, Bernard's thoughts of me. Bernard's thoughts of me. Pretty good. This person thinks that you're exciting, you have a great personality, you're attractive, you're kind, caring, and sincere, and may think that there's like success that comes in between the two of you, or things are successful or have potential to be successful. Any new love coming in for Nunit? Yep. You've got options coming in. Somebody could make you an offer that would be hard to turn down. That could be an Earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. If you're feeling undecided about something or someone, don't make any decisions until you're ready. Things can move forward pretty quickly with a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries as well. Sunshine, details and characteristics of Venus and Valentine's Day. I already answered that one. I can't give you details on the day because it's not planned and we don't know who you're going to be with at that point. But I gave you the characteristics of the person. But I can't tell you you're going to go to the Olive Garden and go to the movies because it's not here yet. We don't know what that is. You have to make those plans. Just like the cards can't tell me what I'm going to do tomorrow, I have to get up and make those plans. Um, it's not something that's predestined, you have the ability to change it. So I can't tell you what the details of the day are because the person may not even be, you might not even be with that person right now. It's, it's really too far away, but I gave you the details. I already did that one. Dana, what's the deal with the cancer? He keeps calling and texting, but I'm over him. I did that one. I said, you're over it. He sensed that the energy has changed and he's looking to get together. I don't think you're going to have it. I think you're done with it. Essence, what do I need to hear both spirit and tarot? I don't have the spirit cards here. I only have tarot here. So let me do tarot, and then if you want to ask a different question. The only cards I have down here are tarot cards. Okay, life may be a little bit out of balance right now, but you're moving forward towards greener pastures. It looks like um, the time and effort that you put into work, school, and business pays off. You'll have choices and options that come in. Life moves forward towards greater pastures and a new creative project or creative hobby comes in. That could be, um, that could be um, something that you either really enjoy or wind up making money at. Romance also may be heating up for you. Passion's coming in, money is coming in, and life is moving forward. Things look pretty good. Things look pretty good. Margo, career and money. Jen.
There could be a new beginning on the horizon as far as career is concerned that could be bringing in some extra money or more money. Looks like your perseverance pays off. Negativity moves into the past and life moves forward. Be prepared for life to move forward. It, eh, things are moving forward. You may feel like things are a little slow and stagnant, but they're moving forward through divine timing. Success comes in around work, career, and finances improve between now and the end of the year. You're no longer holding yourself back. Does the detective feel suspicious of me? Someone needs to investigate the real thieves. I don't think that the uh, detective is suspicious of you, no. No, I don't think that, and I think they are going to continue investigating. I don't think that the um, that this person is suspicious of you, not at this point. Uh, Vicki, when will P the Leo text? When will P the Leo text? say sometime this month you might be feeling like hey I put in a whole lot of effort and I didn't see much of a payoff but there is communication that comes in even if it's slow I would be prepared for communication communication comes in um, I would say sometime this month uh, Kevin send the questions with a purple uh, blue heart TT is plugging my T account at work a bad idea? What would they think? Is plugging my T account at work a bad idea? don't indicate it's a bad idea. I don't know what it is. If it has nothing to do with work, right, I don't think anyone's going to think twice about it. You know, like if it has nothing to do with work, I don't know what it is. But let's just say, for example, it's your uh, social media page and it has, it's not affecting your work and you're just telling people to follow you. I don't think anyone will think twice about it and people will just follow you doesn't look like there's much thought that goes into it, so I wouldn't worry about it. Uh, Kevin, how does tomorrow go with the crush if I see them? Goes well. Things could change for the better quickly. Sunshine, I answered that. I told you the characteristics about the person that you would spend it sound that you could possibly be spending it with. But what I'm saying is, is that this is October. February is far from now. So the person that you're spe that you think it is now, between now and then, could change because you've got several months. That's why I'm saying like it's that's a really long time. You know, it's like saying, what am I going to do? next 4th of July. Well, between now and 4th of July, a lot of things can happen. Sometimes people get up and move. Well, my babysitter is moving to Florida. But last year, that wasn't planned. So like when I saw her in, when she came, she came in March when I went to the dentist and she had no plans to move to Florida. Um, in July, when I reached out to her to go to the dentist, was it July? No, it was August. She came out of the doctor's appointment. August, she told me I'm moving to Florida in November. Moving to Florida in November was not planned when I saw her in March. That's why I'm saying it's very hard to answer who you're going to be with in February when we're so far away from it because things happen. 
but I already answered the question about the characteristics of the person, but I can't swear to that because, like I said, a lot can happen. Like somebody is moving from New York to Florida and it just is something that came in like that. So that's why things could change. Tarot, Pisces energy towards me. Um, pretty good. Things are changing for the better quickly and there's a wish around the situation. Um, I sense I really need to hear that. You have no idea. You always know it. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I'm glad that I can help. <laughs> I'm glad that I can help. Lita, who and what is coming towards me soon? A Taurus comes in. A Sagittarius comes in. Anxiety moves into the past. A love offer comes in. Lay down the law, set up boundaries. It'll serve you well. You could be feeling better compensated, better respected around work, school, or business. Feeling like you made it to the top of the mountain, you can breathe a sigh of relief. Life moves forward and you're feeling ambitious. Whatever you set your mind to, you'll be able to accomplish this fall. Pretty good. Pretty good. Miss Lovely, can you please tell me what are Joseph's next actions towards me? Sure. Communication comes in, things get unstuck and move forward towards greener pastures. No longer holding himself back. You're probably going to see each other soon. I wouldn't be surprised if you saw each other sometime, maybe within the next week or so. Cece, will M and I chat tonight? Will M and I chat tonight? convinced to sometime soon but I don't know that it's going to be tonight. Uh, Simon, current relationship bond with PB and HD. Looks pretty good. Love cup is full. Perseverance pays off. Um, magician is here. The ability to manifest new opportunities. Things look good right now between these two. Sunshine, when will R contact me and what's the conversation about? not be right away because it looks like they may be thinking about it but they're I don't see them reaching out really quickly if you want to speak to them I would reach out to them first if you wait on them it might take time it may not be until a little bit later this month and it looks like it's about small talk there's indecision around the situation I would reach out to them I wouldn't wait Should I go above the mean manager's head and have them pay the water bill that was 175 instead of 30 since they took over the apartment? Probably because, okay, let's see. Should I go above that, their heads and have the manager pay? Yes, I would. I would go above their heads because they're not getting it done, whatever it is. Aurelia, 
How are my bosses sees me? How are my bosses see me? Pretty good. They may think that you're very focused, hardworking, detail oriented smart and intelligent, um, reliable, caring, sincere, easy to get along with. They have a lot of respect for you. Pretty good. Simran, why is the Scorpio undecided about seeing me, but we're so eager to see the Pisces according to the Pisces? There seems to be tension or stress around the situation. So your relationship with Scorpio may be a little bit more out of balance, and I'm not buying 100% what that Pisces says. I think that she's over-exaggerating. So... There's that. <laughs> uh, TT, why have I been feeling so sus about B? General love between us. Um, actually, things look pretty good between the two of you. You may be feeling like maybe they don't put in enough effort as far as like achieving their own personal goals or being driven or ambitious in their own personal thing, not having anything to do with your relationship and you may be like whatever their personal goals are. But that may make you feel like the relationship is out of balance or you're a little bit more ambitious than they are. But your relationship with them looks pretty good. It looks like it's well functioning. It looks like things are changing for the better quickly. There's kind, caring, sincere energy and life has come back into balance. So things look pretty good. But listen to your intuition. If you feel like something's off, just pay attention. Oh, Kevin, I answered that one. And I said, if you see the crush tomorrow, things should go well. They could change for the better quickly. If you don't see them tomorrow, then that should happen the next time you see them. Um, Julie, R is to go away this weekend. Would he feel better if I stood at his house this weekend while he was gone. Yeah, I think so. Uh, Evan, how does H feel after I spoke to her in X? Not bad. Feels pretty grounded, stable. Like uh, there's balance that's come to the situation. Like things are moving forward. And like um, mutual respect. No, Avery, you can't open that. It's too late. You're not going out there now. It's time to go to sleep. What are you looking for? What are you looking for? What are you looking for? No, you're not playing outside. It's too late for that. It's time to go to sleep now. No, you can't go outside. The door is locked. It's closed. You're not going outside. I'm going to go get the ping phone and I'm going to bring it in here, okay? You're not going outside. I'll go get it for you. Why does that thing keep falling off? No, no.
Jamie. Oh, I did that one. I said, yes, she does. Jay, how would the girl with the pink hair feel if I made moves towards her? She'd feel pretty good. She would be responsive. Things could change for her better quickly. A disappointment around her heels and moves into the past. Things move forward. I think that she'd be responsive to it. I don't see any reason why um, you shouldn't make any. You shouldn't make moves. <laughs> Go for it. I know. Uh, Cece, I did that one. I said I didn't think you would chat tonight. Sarah, is there anything you can tell me on how the day would go on Saturday with the Gemini X? Decision around it. Um, there's indecision and things may be a little stuck and stagnant. I wouldn't imagine that things are growing, changing, and transforming. So if this is an ex that you were with, you'll go right back to the same old situation that you were in with that ex. There's not much that's changed around the situation as far as this connection is concerned. Sima, current relationship vibe between PB and TV. Didn't I just do this one? Didn't I say that they were getting along really well and things were moving forward well for both of them? I think I did that one. I decided I did that one. Um, Kevin, I did one for you about the crush tomorrow. If there was another one, I didn't see it. Julie, how will, uh, will I still hear from back from the vet nursing home? question is, how does the rest of my semester go? I'm stressing out about being here. Sometimes I have anxiety. I think that's just normal. I mean, it's fucking stressful. You got to wish around the situation. Things are moving forward. You're no longer holding yourself back. Life is coming back into balance. Things change for the better for you quickly. Um, things are going to be fine. <laughs> yeah, you could be stressed out, but that's just part of it. Miss Lovely, I did that one. Liz, what will happen with me and the cancer? What will happen with me and the cancer? Uh, you might be feeling a little disappointed in them, or you may feel like things are a little slow or negative, but if you just give it time, things can move forward with divine timing. Communication comes in, you should be spending time together. I don't see a commitment here, but we might not be there yet. It may be coming down the line. 
Um, I would just give it a little bit of time and let things unfold organically. Tanya, I think I was accidentally skipped. I wanted to know how the energy between myself and El, I'm sure there's anxiety, depressed sense is kicking his butt, how will the energy be? The energy is, is pretty good. Like there's a wish around the situation. Once communication starts, I, like the hardest thing is like taking the first step. Once that happens, things can move forward pretty easily. The energy is good. Things change for the better quickly. You're going to hear from him soon. The communication comes in quick. Somebody could make you an offer that would be hard to turn down. Feeling better compensated, better respected around work, school, or business, you got money coming in. With the magician, you've got the ability to manifest new opportunities. You'll hear from somebody you've been hoping to hear from or get news that you've been waiting on. Could be spending time in the fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, making decisions that push your life forward. It should be a really good weekend. I am, Anthony. I am. We'll be here until Wednesday. Cosmic. Messages from spirit. I can only give you tarot messages. I don't have the spirit cards here. I only have tarot here, but I can still give you messages. Making decisions, Danny falls on the floor. Making decisions that push your life forward. Listen to your intuition. Feeling better compensated, better respected around work, school, or business. Old wounds are healing and moving into the past. You'll hear from somebody you're hoping to hear from or get news that you've been waiting on and you've got the ability to manifest new opportunities. Life is moving forward. An air sign comes in, Libra Aquarius, Gemini. A wish comes true. Focus on what you want more of now, what you want less of. Life is moving forward pretty quickly for you. Um, Cosmic, why does Patrick vibe different with me? Am I overthinking it? You're definitely overthinking things. But it looks like perseverance takes you to the top of the mountain where you can breathe a sigh of relief. Things move forward towards greener pastures. When he makes you an offer, that would be hard to turn down. Choices and options come in around this situation and things move forward organically. Just go with it. Everything should be working itself out uh, without like having to even put in a whole lot of effort. Things should move forward. Beautiful one. Aries thoughts if he found out that I went out on a date. Aries would be a little disappointed. May feel a little bit disrespected. Maybe a little bit annoyed. There's a little sharp energy here. Oh, that's what it gets. <laughs> um, MN, do you see my person thinks I'm financially stable? When he steps closer, we'll continue to see so. This person does think that you're financially successful. Also thinks that you're very independent. You're smart, you're intelligent, and you know how to get things done. Pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah, I would say this person is pretty confident that you are financially stable, you know how to get things done, you're smart, intelligent, and you don't wait around. Like you make things happen, you don't wait on people. Um, Simran, why is there tension and stress between me and Scorpio? Seems like the situation may be a little bit out of balance. 
I don't know. I don't know what you want from this situation, but there looks like there's like the weight of the world is on someone's shoulders. So I don't know if it's that the two of you want different things, or one person wants things to move forward faster than the other. But there is a little stress around the situation. Like two people are that are not on the same page. One person may not be prepared as the other. I don't know what the connection is though, so it's hard to say. Oh, Sarah, you meant Ed and it wasn't an X. It still showed little chance for growth, change, and transformation. But if this isn't somebody you're going back to, it just may be that it's a slow, it's a slow start. Some things start fast. Sometimes things start slow. It could be a slow start. If this is somebody who you've only like been out with a couple of times or haven't gone out with before, I would say give it time because it could be a slow start with death in reverse. Why was the Pisces over exaggerating about Scorpio's situation? Uh, because they, this person wants to be popular or wants the, uh, wants people to think that they're better liked than they actually are. <laughs> they want people to think they're more important than they really are. That's why. Paula, what the reading wants to tell me for today. Your life is moving forward towards greener pastures. Um, it looks like, yeah, life is moving forward towards greener pastures. Take time for rest, relaxation, and self-care. You've got money coming in or money is on the horizon. It looks like feeling better compensated, better respected around work, school, or business. Making decisions that push your life forward, life comes back into balance. Looks pretty good. Pretty good. Kevin, send a question with a purple heart. Question, I just received paperwork that is two months old from the county's attorney's office. They should send me something saying that it's been dismissed. This is the game that they're playing. Yeah, there's uh, bullshit going on here. I would not fill out anything without talking to your lawyer first. Julie, if my daughter Des majors in pharmaceutical studies, how to go for her? It will go well. Yeah, it will go well. She would be prepared for a lot of hard work, but she moves forward towards greater pastures. Somebody can make her an offer that would be hard to turn down. That is the skeleton. Where, where is it? It's outside. How could you see it? Oh, you can see it here. I can't see it in this one. Um, my dad uses that. I don't know if he does anymore, but he would use it to teach class, like to draw the human body. Um, it's a female, but I don't know the, its name. I know it's a female though. He says, you can tell by the hips. Um, I'll ask him what the name is. But he used to use that to scare kids at Halloween. <laughs> He used to put it at the front door. When the door opened, he got a skeleton there. <laughs> Anyhow. <clears throat> Kevin, do you see my transfer? next semester I applied and curious to see if I'll get I'm kind of hoping I'm wondering if I'll be gone in January semester okay will I be transferring in January you could you could have the, the opportunity to yeah Tanya high five I don't see how you do it. My ass was 
all lost in chat and I couldn't even follow the Albert Road if I had to drop that. <laughs> No longer holding yourself back. Be prepared for things to move forward with your career. You could also be feeling very passionately about it, uh, whatever it is that you do for a living. Or you could maybe even getting in inspired to do something different. Feeling like you've made it to the top of the mountain, you can breathe a sigh of relief, especially when you have some life coming back into balance. Money is coming in, the weight of the world slips off your shoulders and negativity moves into the past. It should be a pretty decent October. General for the weekend. General for the weekend. Take time if you can for some rest, relaxation, and self care. It'll serve you well. You're moving forward towards greener pastures. You could be spending time with an earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. You got a love offer coming in. If you're with someone, great. If you're with someone who's not an earth sign, current relationship is grounding, stabling, and moving forward slow and steady wins the race. If you're not with anyone, an earth sign could be coming in. An old wound is healing and moving into the past. The weight of the world slips off your shoulders. Take time for rest, relaxation, and self-care. You're feeling a little bit more financially stable, and you could be working on a creative project or creative hobby this week. And how do you see sex between us, slow or hard? It's not always going to be the same because there's going to be choices. There's going to be choices and options that won't always be the same. Sometimes slow, sometimes hard. Uh, love always. What does CO want with me? I don't know that they're looking for things to move forward at this point. Six of so swords is in reverse and so is the love cup. I don't know where you guys are in the relationship, but it looks like I don't see a lot of love and romance here and I don't see a lot of I don't see any commitment. So I don't think that they're looking for anything specifically right now. And do you see me maybe getting accepted and transferred in the spring? I want to, but I'm curious. I think you will. Yes, I did that one. Uh, the opportunity comes in. You'll decide whether or not you want to transfer. You should get in. Um, essence, when do you see me getting out of this money slump? And why does it feel like I can never get on with the right terms with finances? You have a wish right now. Be prepared for a wish to come true around finances moving forward. Things move forward, um, anxiety moves into the past, you're no longer holding yourself back and perseverance pays off. As far as like money slumps, I think that's just life. I feel like everybody goes through that nonsense. It's like you come to, like it's like no matter how much you make, it's never enough. And it always seems like some kind of bullshit comes up. I just think that that's a life thing. I mean, it's just, it is what it is. Um, there are though, like getting stuck in mindsets where like abundance is difficult or it's hard to make money like that kind of stuff could be defeating but if you're if you're coming from a place of lack and if you're feeling like it's never enough i always want more then you're idling in a place of lack i don't have enough so that creates more lack 
So it's like, well, if I have $10 in the bank, I want 20. If I have 20, then I should have 30. If I have 30, it should be 50. That kind of um, energy goes out into the universe and creates more of that. You know, that's why people like, I don't know, Elton John, who makes God knows how much money, could find himself in financial trouble because he's whatever. You know, it's like what you put out into the universe is gonna come back to you and it's all relative. So it's like maybe we don't spend the money that Elton John spends, we don't make what he makes, but it's all relative on every level. So coming at a place of lack, I don't have enough, I want more. And always always wanting more, it's not that wanting more is bad, but it's a, it's a lack mindset. So it's like, why do I only have three customers? I should have five customers. I, if I had five customers, I would be happy. That's not true because if you have five customers, you want to have seven customers because you're coming from that mindset of lack. It's not enough. It's not enough. It's not enough. When you throw that out and you're like, you know what? I'm not going to worry about it anymore. It'll work itself out. Things tend to work themselves out because there's not stress around it. There is stress when we're trying to get something. I need to get more. I need love. I need love. Somebody's got to love me. What am I going to be loved? When is he coming in? When is he going to call me? That's lack. And it's the same thing, whether it's love, a person, or it's money, any, no matter what it is, it's coming from the mindset of lack. I need something. If I don't need, if I don't get what I need, then I'm not going to be happy because I don't have what I want. It's negative. So that's that's why you're in the slump. And most of, most people go through that. What am I going to expect this month? Choices and options come in around work, school, or business, or wish comes true. Be prepared for life to move forward. You can have an air sign come in, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Anxiety is easing and moving into the past, and you're no longer holding yourself back. Perseverance pays off, especially around work, school, or business, and an old wound is healing and moving into the past. Question, was it sent from Polk County? or Teresa, the crazy DHS worker. Okay, was it from Polk County? I don't think it was from Polk County. Was it from Teresa? I think it's from the DHS worker. How will my grades pan out for me this semester? I hope I pass everything to move on. I think you will. You're focused. Somebody makes you an offer that will be hard to turn down. You're listening to your intuition. Choices come in. Stress and anxiety move into the past and your perseverance pays off. James, is there an attraction between B and A? Why isn't Scorpio prepared to see me? I don't get why this situation is unbalanced. Is there tension, stress, when he initially would ask me out to hang out? And I just say, sure. But the energy has shifted. So things are out of balance, which means that either you're more into the situation or you're stressed out more over the situation. The energy you're putting out is different than his. That's what throws the situation out of balance. So for example, if I go into the grocery store and I meet Joe, Joe and I'm not attracted to him, I don't want anything from him, but we become friends, right? We go out for coffee, we go for a walk, we go swimming in the pool, whatever. 
there's no stress there because I don't want anything from him. I don't care. I'm not thinking about him. I'm not asking about him. I'm not talking about him. It just, it is what it is. Just similar to like my relationship with my friend Amy or my friend Rachel. There's no stress there because I'm not, I'm not constantly, what does Amy think about me? How does Amy feel about me? What is Amy going to call me? I, those thoughts don't ever enter my mind. I don't ever think that way. But when you have a situation where one person is like, when is this person going to call me? Why, what are they thinking about me? There's, the, the wheels are turning and, and that energy goes out into the universe and the other person can pick it up. That's where, when things go out of balance. My relationship with Amy will never go out of balance because neither one of us are thinking obsessively over the other person or asking questions and, 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 and discussing. Like I'm not calling up my other friends and saying, do you think Amy's gonna call me? Do you think that, it, how does Amy feel about me? Because that's, it's just, it does not something I ever think of. When your energy is thinking about why is he wants to hang out with Pisces and what is, when is he gonna call me or why is he being short with me? These are all questions that are, there is energy in these questions going out into the universe. If I text Amy right now, it's 1130, she's probably not gonna answer me. But you know what, by the time it's 12.30, I will have forgotten that I've texted her. I won't even be thinking about it. She'll answer me sometime tomorrow and then I will remember that, she, that I texted her tonight because that's just how it is. And that's why relationships go out of balance. If one person can't get the, person out, the other person out of their head and they're talking about it and constantly asking questions and feeling insecure, that builds uh, resistance around the situation and the other person feels it. It just like the other person that asked when Dana said, I'm over the cancer, why is he calling? That's exactly why, because she forgot about him, the energy shifted, and now he's like, hey, what about me? It, it, that's just the way energy works. It sucks that it works like that, but that's the way it works. That's why disconnecting from these situations really works, but you can't fake disconnecting. You really have to disconnect, so. What's the matter? What? Oh, somebody's getting tired finally. Why don't you come over here and lay down? You can't even stand up. What? Go sit in that chair. No. What? You want to lay here? Come here. Where are you going? You want to go in the, in the other room? With Minnie Mouse? Julie, when R starts to show me attention in the fall, is it because he thinks that I may be talking or, or seeing someone else? That could be part of it. Yeah, that could be part of it. That's another thing that you can't fake. So if you say to somebody, hey, I'm gonna go out with Joe tonight because you wanna make them jealous, they're not gonna be jealous. It's not that they don't believe you. They could believe that you're going out with someone else, but they may not feel that jealousy because it's not real. So if you're really dating somebody else, he'll feel it whether you tell him or not. And then that's when the energy changes. It, it's interesting the way that energy works because you can't you can't lie about it. It really has to happen. It's just the way it is. <laughs> That's why with every situation, whenever people are stressing about something, if you take the person that you're stressing out of over out and insert it with a random person like your best friend, and the energy, you can see how it's different. Um, Joelle, energy if I go to father-in-law's birthday party Saturday night. The energy is good. Um, it's kind of grounded and stable. Anxiety moves into the past. There's kind, caring, sincere energy around it. Pretty good.
Julie, can I get hired at the new city hospital in South Brooklyn next year? Yes, I think you can. Erica, what's coming to me soon? Growth, change, and transformation comes in and around your life that leads to success. Finances are improving. Life changes for the better quickly, and you'll feel as if you've made it to the top of the mountain. Life comes back into balance. You'll hear from somebody you've been hoping to hear from or get news that you've been waiting on. With the magician, the ability to manifest new opportunities, life comes back into balance, and things get unstuck and move forward. Now, you have love coming in. If you're already with someone, you don't have to change partners. If you're not with anyone, negativity around love moves into the past, and Earth sign could come in Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Weight of the world is slipping off your shoulders, and the weight and life is moving forward. Pretty good, Julie. For the rest of October, slow and steady wins the race. But especially around work, school, or business, things are improving, and you might have choices around work that come in. Money is coming in, feeling a little bit more financially stable. Finances improve for the better quickly. You could be spending time with an air sign, Libra Aquarius, Gemini, and old wound heals and moves into the past. Hi. Kevin, if I transfer, will I like it there? What's the energy around it? You want to go in the bed? Yes, I think you will like it if you make the decision to move forward. I'm going to put you in there, okay? See how this goes. Do you want more milk or no? You're good with the milk. Do you want milk? Go ahead. You go go to sleep right there in that chair. Go ahead. Go to sleep in that chair. Um, Miss Bay, me and Wu for the best of October, no contact. You could get contact. Communication comes in quick. You could have sharp energy, though. You might tell this person that you don't want to see them anymore. But there should be communication that comes in. And they may even be putting in a whole lot of hard work. Let's see what happens. I would be surprised if we make it to the end of the month and you haven't heard from them yet.
essence, what's coming towards me soon? And how will the date between me and Morgan go tomorrow will be over? What's coming towards me soon? You have the magician, the ability to manifest new opportunities. Life comes back into balance. Could be planning travel, take time for rest, relaxation, and self-care. A wish comes true. Anxiety moves into the past. How will the date go with Morgan will be awkward? I think it's going to go well. Will it be awkward? It could be a little bit awkward. Um, but for the most part, it looks like communication looks good. It's like a fun time. Or you maybe start off a little awkward, get better as the night goes on. And it looks like the two of you get along really well. Ada, M's uh, feel about my gift. Did I do the wrong thing? Nope, I don't think you did the wrong thing. It's like there's mutual respect here and wishes come true around that. So it looks like they're pretty happy with the gift. Um, they could be feeling a little bit undecided about something. I don't know what the, I don't know why. I don't know if they feel like, whatever, you spent too much, you shouldn't have, whatever. There's a little indecision, but for the most part, they feel well respected, they're happy, they're content, and you didn't do the wrong thing. Beautiful one for tomorrow. No longer holding yourself back, anxiety moves into the past. You could be spending time with a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. You'll hear from somebody. You'll hear from somebody you were hoping to hear from or get news that you've been waiting on. Anxiety moves into the past. Lucinda, will JJ call or message me or come by my house sometime this upcoming week or next week? There's communication that comes in quick, but I don't see anything else as of right now. Dana, general. Take time if you can for rest, relaxation, and self-care with the magician, the ability to manifest new opportunities. Life comes back into balance. A little bit of money is coming in, and you've got a little bit of passion headed your way. Adonis, when do you see me and Vivi get intimate again? Soon. Sometime this month, maybe within the next week or so. Fast. Malika, general. Feeling like you made it to the top of the mountain, you can breathe a sigh of relief when money comes in. Negativity moves into the past. An old wound heals. No longer feeling stuck or stagnant, you're moving forward towards greener pastures. Uh, spiritually beautiful, general re reading for this weekend. Negativity moves into the past. You're making a decision that pushes your life forward. Be prepared to take time for rest, relaxation, and self-care. You're moving forward towards greener pastures. You could be planning travel at some point. And you could be spending time with an air sign, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. You'll hear from somebody you're hoping to hear from or get news that you've been waiting on. Does Jerry truly want hey, to be with me, or mommy. is it just a game? Hey, mommy, mommy. I think this person wants to be with you. Yeah, they may not be 100% committed, but I think they do want to be with you. Be act general for October. Take time if you can for rest, relaxation, and self-care. You could be planning travel to water, by water, or around water. Life comes back into balance. Negativity moves into the past. Anxiety eases and also moves into the past. Pretty good.
afraid that the iPad is going to die soon. A new love, why hasn't Philip still answered me? Is he not interested? I don't think he's not interested. I think you're going to hear from him soon. I think he's undecided about what he wants, and he's a little unsure, so he's kind of dragging his feet. Empress, how will my exam shit that disappeared? How will my exam results be on Tuesday? Well, you've got success coming in. You've got cause for celebration coming in and life coming back into balance. It should go well. It should go well. Ida, how does Em's best friend Lily feel about it? Does she feel like it doesn't change anything? Does she feel like it doesn't change anything? I don't think she changed, She thinks that anything changes. I don't know what the situation is, but she feels like things are a little slow and stagnant or nothing is changing for the better quickly. It's just kind of slow and stagnant. general for Friday and this weekend. Anxiety moves into the past. Slow and steady wins the race. You're no longer holding yourself back. Could be spending time with an earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Be prepared for life to move forward, but slow and steady wins the race. Um, the weekend looks pretty good. Take time for rest, relaxation, and self-care. Um, you might be feeling like Personal relationships are functioning better with the Six of Pentacles. Looks like a pretty decent weekend. Beautiful one. When will the new project begin at work? The swords, it should happen soon, sometime this fall. Ada, how does she feel about it in general? What are we talking about? How does she feel about what? gift. She thinks that it was nice. She thinks it was successful, but if you're giving somebody a gift because you think it's going to change something, it's not going to change anything if that's what the question is. Like the gift itself was nice and that's really all she's thinking. It's not, it's not going to change it. Like nothing is good. It's not going to make anything else happen. I don't know why you gave this person a gift, but if you gave them, say you bought them a birthday gift, they appreciate it, but it's not going to change the relationship. But I'm not sure if I'm understanding the, the uh, question. Like whatever the gift was, the gift was nice, and that's all that they're thinking about. Like it was a nice gift and they're living in that. Uh, Lily, what's coming for me in general? I don't want to spam, but I think I've been skipped. Well, I, the only people that get skipped are the people that donate. The other ones I answer in order that I receive them, but there's been too many. It's going too fast, so I can't get to everyone. I try to, but I'm not going to be able to tonight. Um, what's coming towards me in general? Growth, change, and transformation comes in and around your career, work, school, business, whatever you do all day. With the magician, the ability to manifest new opportunities. Anxiety moves into the past. You'll hear from somebody you've been hoping to hear from, or you'll get news that you've been waiting on. Life comes back into balance, and take time for rest, relaxation, and self-care. It'll serve you well. Davey, general.
um, generally, you have life coming back into balance, feeling better compensated, better respected around work, school, or business. Growth, change, and transformation comes in around work, school, or business that's bringing in more financial stability. It looks like life changes for you for the better quickly when you listen to your intuition, and you could be spending time with an air sign, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. I have to wrap it up because the iPad's on 5%. It's going to die. Um, I didn't skip any super chats. I've caught, I'm all put up with the super chats. Ada, you know what? You don't have to tone down your energy for anybody. If you're intense and that's who you are, you don't have to change it. You know what? Too bad if, they, if other people don't accept it. You don't have to change who you are for anybody else. And I'm tired of hearing that. You know, like I've heard shit like that about myself. Or um, I, I was told in the past that I was, uh, I, my energy was different and people didn't know how to receive it. You know what? You don't like it? And you could have that. <laughs> you don't have to change who you are, especially if you're like that's just how you are. So you're intense. Some people may think you're intense. Some people are more nervous than others. Some people are more laid back. People always think that I'm like very laid back, and in certain ways I am. But I get a lot of anxiety. So sometimes like people just misread each other. I could suffer from really bad anxiety. So I don't know how you want to say that I'm very laid back, <laughs> because sometimes my insides are all twisted up. But you, you know, it's like you don't have to change who you are to, to please anybody else. If they don't like it, that's too bad. Well, that's okay, Essence. I'm just afraid the iPad's going to die. I'll do yours, and then that will be the last one, because I don't want it to die on anybody's uh, super chat. So just send the question quickly. <laughs> Empress, what does AR expect from me in his connection with me? I don't think he's really expecting anything because I don't think he thinks anything is going to change or transform quickly. I think he may be hoping that something changes, but I don't think that he expects anything to change. I think he feels like things are kind of like, this is as good as it's going to get. I don't think he's expecting anything. Um, Essence, why haven't I heard from Arnell? Why haven't I heard from Arnell? I think he, he feels a little bit out of balance. He feels a little stuck and stagnant, a little unsuccessful, and I think he's waiting on you. I think he feels a little bit like there's not a lot of room for growth change or transformation, and he could be a little bit afraid of being rejected. All right, I am going to wrap it up now because I'm afraid the iPad is going to die, and I will be back on tomorrow at some point. Maybe in the afternoon, we'll see how it goes. If not, I'll be on at night. Thank you all very much for being here, and I'm sorry I didn't get to everyone but the iPad is gonna die and I don't have a way to plug it in right here. <laughs> I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye bye. Oh, wait a second, is Mel here or Mel's not here? I think I saw that Brandy was doing the, uh, uh, I don't wanna skip Mel. I, don't, I think Mel had to step out. right okay all right I'll see you guys later then okay